Here at our camp, we enjoy life. We stay simple. We are responsible to our camp. And everyone is uh, proud about it. We work together as brothers and sisters. We, we value so much uh, teamwork. What's most important is the way we motivate each other. Kaptakat is one of the top spots eh, within the, the suburbs of, uh, of Eldoret eh, or the surroundings of Eldoret. Kaptakat, in comparison to maybe Iten and Kapsabet, um, is, is not really a, a town, it's more like a region. It gets the name by its, um, its forest. And that is why it's so good for, for training and so characteristic, the, the red soil that has the, the pathways uh, uh, around, around Kaptagat and around the, the forest. And most of the people living here, even if they are runners, they are farmers. The idea was initially to help young developing athletes um, to realize their potential. The, most of the time in Kenya, the uh, young athletes, they don't have the possibilities to access training facilities and a good place where they can get the technical support by way of coaching. Uh, so the whole idea was to help the young athletes um, develop themselves where senior athletes can also be in the camp to mentor and help give direction to the young athletes that are coming up. Uh, the capacity of the camp is around uh, 30 people. But at the moment we have a stretch because of, uh, you know, we, the, the family is growing. I think I'm here uh, to be part of the team and part of a um, motivation to some young athletes and those whom we are, we are running together at the top. They learn a lot from us when they see we are, the way we are responsible. We are responsible to the camp, the way we, we arrive here on time, the way we encourage others to, to arrive uh, early enough for training, the way we talk to each other, Actually, what's, uh, most, what, what's uh, amazing is the way we are, we are, we are staying here. We, we don't have any categories that they are young, they are juniors. We, we, we put uh, value ourselves that we are all runners and we are equal. A normal day in a camp is like uh, waking up maybe 20 minutes to 6 o'clock, getting ready everything getting ready for where getting your, your apparel and everything. By 16 you are in, on the road, starting for, running for 20 kilometers. Park, take shower, take breakfast. Have a, a relax for some time. If you have massage, you can go for massage. If you have a ice bath, you can go for ice bath. If you feel like sleeping, you can go and sleep. You can grab a book and read and you get lunch can go to, a, to sleep or go for exercises. At, uh, at four o'clock, then you go for evening run. Evening run, you come and take evening tea, you relax, have a tea in the evening, go to bed. Living here um, in Kaftagat is quite unique. Um, every time when I come here, it's like, you really, you get, when you enter the gate, it's like you are in full concentration because you know why you are here you know there's nothing much to do here and uh, so if you don't do your job well it's like why why you are here then why you are uh, suffering or you know doing all this thing then so uh, it gives you always like that that discipline and dedication and, and especially if you see someone like uh, Elliot Kipjoge he won almost everything he won everything uh, and he's still coming here as, as first person on Monday and he stays here until Saturday never go to the town and then you know like ah, let, let, let me follow his steps you follow what he does eh? uh, 
see what 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 you doing. Tap. Yeah, that the other side. So the next chain like that, like that, like that. Okay, at the camp, this is a a controlled environment. Once you come on Monday, then you have to stay at the camp until on Saturday morning is when you can go home for your weekend, go and see your family. Otherwise, in between, the only time you get out of the camp is when you are going for a training session. Otherwise, any other business, any other activity that is outside training is not something that is entertained. So basically, those are part of the rule as to why a camp has to be set up because a camp will keep you away from maybe places of amusement. Uh, it helps you also to focus and regenerate and recover. If you are at home, then the chances that you are going to follow these guidelines is really difficult. It's very challenging. That's why there is a setup of a camp. Wait. Now, for you, let me, let me tell you what, these exercises don't lie. Now, Matui, you are weaker on one side, and that is something we have to do. Huh? Okay? Because even the exercise that you are doing like this, you see, this side you are doing well, the other one you are collapsing completely. Sasa. Okay? <laughs> Camp is like uh, quite uh, cool and it's a nice environment to be because uh, you have peace of mind there, you have uh, relaxation and uh, you learn a lot in, uh, in camp about training. Camp is a learning institute, yeah. We live together as our sisters and uh, we share everything that we were, like discussion. This is the property of the camp. So we normally share some words about here and we work as a sisters, we work like uh, friends, yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about living in camp, uh, it's uh, giving peace of mind. Uh, I go with the with the majority of positive things than negative. <laughs> and we, we are like 30 athletes and we all motivate each other. If someone we see like going a little bit two days or three days a week going to town it's like hey what's going on? Uh, while you're going and stay here, recover. Because it's, it's challenging, you know, after the training, let's say we finish so early into the training, like 7.40, you are, we are done the morning training. So before 8, you are done. And the next training is at 4. Okay, you have lunch, you can sleep, but the rest, you know, you, it's, you, let me go to town, let me do this. But this, to stay here, read a book, you know, just chill. Uh, it's very hard in the beginning, but when you get used to it and you see the results, you know, like this place, this, this place is really unique, and uh, we have so many world championships around. It's a small place here, and um, so that makes it actually unique. In the beginning, you really have to change your mentality when you come here. Like for me, I, it, it took me like one and a half year to get used to the silent and not doing that much, only training, sleeping, eating, that's it. It was really hard. But once you get that, and you can do that, you just see the results coming. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's really quite unique. I went a lot of places in the world and uh, I think it's, it's the best place to train. Yeah. <laughs> this is the mushroom. I, I pick it there, the forest. It's not as many. We are individuals in a group. So within the group setting, there is also an individual focus where we are focusing on the individual growth, the individual development, and taking an individual towards realizing their ideal goals. We have a, in the camp a camp manager who is uh, the assistant coach, uh, Richard Meta. 
We have also in the camp uh, different committees set up by the athletes. What the athletes do is that uh, once in a year they elect people to represent them in different areas. One is uh, issues to do with um, diet and food in general. And another one is to do with uh, the, the cleanliness and uh, you know, what duties each athlete plays. So there are some committees, and those committees are the ones that are actually running the place. Now we drink Kenyan tea. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just simple, getting water mixed uh, with, with, with milk and putting some tea and sugar. Yeah. Actually it's a norm, because we were, we were born when we used to take a tea in the morning for breakfast, and maybe in the evening after supper or before supper. So it's part of a of, of Kenyan meal, yeah. It's it, it's an important uh, breakfast for in Kenya. It's something I must. Uh, at the camp we have a, a president who oversees like everything. Also he has people who are under him who, are, who have been selected to overlook on some certain activities in the camp. And uh, that's how things work in the camp. I don't see anything negative about the camp because it is something, it's a choice that you have to be in the camp. And uh, any challenge that you face in the camp is just a part of life. Each and every one of us has his or our own fair share of challenges. So we try to focus on the positive, not on the, on the negative. This is our symbol, Kam. Our Kam is very simple. Our Kam is, uh, is, 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 has been filled using appropriate technology and uh, just the things we have there. Yeah, we are simple people. The atmosphere is really on high, high note. We respect each other. Nobody is uh, big, nobody is small. We are all human beings. Uh, 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 yeah, we are not bosses, we are leaders. Uh, and above all, above all our Kam, our aim is to achieve. Our aim is actually to perform. Our aim is to have a call whereby you can perform perfectly. But above all is that uh, we are building human beings to perform, to achieve and have goals. This is a place where it brings us together. This is a place where it uh, brings hard work together. A place where it, it joins people Because at the end of the day, you're running 200 kilometers a week. So why, and you have not that much, you can't run until you're 60, you 65. So it's like that short time you have, make it, uh, make it the best. It's the teamwork. I mean, being in a controlled environment, chasing the same, same goals, is one of the most interesting things. Because the minds are together, I mean the souls are together. In camp, we see each other as an equal because we have come here with one purpose. We left everything behind. It's only that to think about what we came here and to work for what we came here. Because camp also it's a for a period. After uh, not running again, each and everyone will go in different ways.